glanced over to where she was looking, and I saw this vision of this woman floating across the rocks. What the? What did you hear? Did you hear that? What did you hear? Something just moved like behind you. Oh. Whoa! Ah. What? What's happening? We need to be very mindful and careful of our next steps. This freaked me out, Jules. Yeah, it went all through my body. Whoa! Whoa, whoa look at that! Oh, look at my thumb! Scratch? Hey, wait, I gotta turn the lights on. Jules is a f***ing scratch on the oh, What was that? What? Babe? Where did that come from? This is our first episode. We're back doing outdoor adventures. It's gonna be a lot more after this one, but hey, how are you feeling with being back to outdoor adventures? Cold. Yeah? <laughs> it's pretty cold today. Um, I'm excited though to do some more outdoor adventures. I feel like we haven't done them in a long time. So. I feel like this is what a lot of people needed to like just, you know, for us to get back out there. So not only are we going back to, you know, outdoor adventures, but we're going back to one of the spots where we kind of left everything on a cliffhanger. We wanted to go back, but it was, I don't know, one of those locations where we wanted to go back at the right time. And apparently the dead of winter is yeah. the right time <laughs> to well, go on a cliff. Hey, hey, hey. The reason why I wanted to go back is because this spot, man, it has history, it has paranormal history. It's a lighthouse that had, what, there was like four lighthouses during its time there. I started off here, um, yeah, just thought, you know, we'd pull over and kind of just clear our heads before. Just, we haven't investigated in a while, so I'm a little bit more nervous than usual just because we did take a bit of a break. Yeah. So, and I love outdoor adventures, not the biggest fan of them in the middle of winter. No, but we've done worse. We have done worse, a lot worse. Uh, thankfully we have no snow, so that helps. Yeah. But I don't know, I say we just do it, just go for it, see what comes out of it. We got a lot last time that we didn't even know we captured. When we got back and like reviewed everything is when we mm. noticed we caught a lot more than we thought we did. Yeah. So, yeah, and you brought a little something. I brought something, check this out. Yeah. Check this out, it's in my pocket because I just, what? I, I, I don't like this thing, but. Look at this thing right now. <laughs> Does camera get that? Oh, it gets it all right. It's a full-on Aztec death whistle. We haven't had this out for what a year? Yeah, At there's reasons for that. I know it's been behind glass. It's been in our oddity glass container Whatever you call it display case for like an, a year mm -hmm. Right, Locked. so yeah. the story behind this is apparently from what I remember This was a spiritual device. It's kind of like something where when you blow it, it's a full-on whistle but when you blow it Apparently it's supposed to spike activity. We've had really bad run-ins in the past with this mm -hmm. and by no means are we doing this disrespectfully. I am bringing this just because I want to see if there is possibly a portal there or an opening and things are coming in and out. And, and to the spirits last time that we were there, they were more sh like they were shy. Yeah. Right? So maybe in this sense it will help give them energy to be able to communicate more with us. So like you said, we're not doing it in a disrespectful way. We're just hopefully going to give these spirits energy to talk, to tell us their side of things and get yeah. their story out. Yeah. And the biggest thing of all was the woman that is seen there, the one with the rope around the waist. Yeah. So that's the main target where we're going to try and see if we can capture her on video for everybody. If you guys missed our previous episode here, I will link it down below. I do like the full history thing on there. So yeah, our objective tonight is to capture that woman and potentially anything else, so. And to stay warm. And to stay warm, <laughs> so yeah, let's get this going. It's already getting cold. What do you think we're gonna catch tonight? Honestly, I feel like we might catch a lot of audibles. Yeah? So I think maybe EVPs or like stuff like that. 
I think that's what we're gonna catch at this location is gonna be a lot of EVPs. True. Yeah, because last time I swear I was hearing a man's voice. I'm not playing when I'm saying this right now. Last time I was so convinced that I was hearing a damn man talk. So bad. So I don't know. I think you. I think you might be right on that. I'm just so excited to get back out. Holy smokes! I think everyone here is excited about it as well. Um, yeah, this will be another creepy one, guys. So before we get into this, I want to make sure everyone hits that like button. I want to get this video to probably around 2,500 likes. If we can hit 2,500 likes, we'll do something stupid and crazy out on an adventure. You guys know the deal, 2,500 likes. Share this out, do whatever you can to help us grow, and just being here, guys, is you know more than enough if you guys don't wanna do that. So thank you for being here, everyone. We're gonna enjoy another creepy adventure. Mm -hmm. Oh, who knows, maybe we'll uncover a Pukwudgie. Okay. We're gonna catch a Pukwudgie tonight. Puckwudgies! Puckwudgies! Puck are everywhere. You know they throw you to your death, right? Well, if one can be on camera, then. Yeah, but hey. if you die, who's gonna put this up on YouTube? Yeah, I didn't think that one through, right? You. I don't know how to do that. Well, you have to figure it out. As long as it's on tape and as long as we can prove that to the world, you know, that would be amazing. So let's look for Puckwudgies, too, everyone. <laughs> Buckwudgies! All right, let's just, let's do this. <laughs> Charles wants to go right now and just rip there. Um, so I guess we'll just rip there in silence. <laughs> all right, well, with all things considered, let's roll out again. Welcome back to another crazy haunted episode. An adventure. Ready? Ready. Let's do. Let's go. A heavy fog sweeps in from the sea and covers Shabakto Head Lighthouse. Dreams become nightmares. Children huddle together in the blackness of their room. A rush of cold air sweeps over their bed. No radio plays, but 19th century music is heard above the forlorn sounds of a foghorn. As a small child, Pat Helpert lived with her family at Chibacto Head Light. She remembers how she dreaded the long hours of the night and prayed for sleep in daylight. Pat recalls her first encounter with the ghost. I was walking the dog out around the house and the dog started to growl and her ears went up straight and I glanced over to where she was looking and I saw this vision of this woman floating across the rocks. She was dressed in uh, late 18th century, um, a large bonnet with a bubble back and a long gown, tight, tight fitting at the waist and, and full at the bottom and uh, it was tied around the waist with a rope and um, there was no, I didn't see a face, there was no, no color, she was basically all one, like, um, if I can recall, it was like a grayish, grayish, brownish color, just, you know. Pat felt the ghost wanted something from the living. She recalled sea tragedies of shipwrecks and bodies that were buried in unmarked graves. Perhaps the ghost could not rest until she found a lost child or husband. Stan Fleming, Pat's father, was for years a keeper of Chibacto Light. He scoffed at his daughter's concern about the lighthouse being haunted by a mysterious woman. But a later incident turned Stan Fleming into a believer. Well, I was just sitting there. While I was sitting there, I put the oars under my legs and lit a cigarette and popped another cigarette. And first thing I see this woman <laughs> go across. And I just sat there and looked at her. What in the hell was that? <laughs> to me, I thought it was a witch. She had a bond of tie down over. Never believed in ghosts. Never. But after a while, <laughs> I started wondering. Are these just stories the figment of the imagination? That helper doesn't think so. I always had a, a chilled feeling that would, uh, would come over me. Um, 
It was not there constantly, but a lot of the times. And I just felt that there was someone that was trying to contact me. Someone was trying to get my attention. Or... Bill Jessam, ATV News. We made it. Who's this? It's a biker. It's a biker. Is there any ghost hunting? We should ask him if he encountered a ghost. Leave the alone. Hey, bicycle man, did you see a ghost? A ghost lady? He blinked. Oh, he legitimately nodded his head. That means he saw a ghost. He saw someone up there. Jeez, that's creepy, man. Just looking at that gate. What are you picking up right now? Nothing. <laughs> you mean nothing? It's not creepy. It kind of is. Like, we're going into that. We know what's down there, right? But I don't know, I think it's just the fact that I'm like we're on another outdoor episode. It's you know what we've been through. It's it's creepy. <laughs> I think it's just not creepy to me right now because it's not dark out. Alright, here we go. We are officially starting this. I wanna point out too, so the Aztec death was well, I kinda of did a little bit more research and I looked it up. It said that the Aztec death whistle was actually from the Mexica people, which were the people in the Valley of Mexico hundreds of years ago. And the first Aztec death whistle was actually found in the 90s in one of the temples. So it is believed, it's popularized, that a bunch of the warriors from that time blew it all at once and it made this shrieking noise. If you guys have seen our Aztec death whistles in the past, like our videos to it, you would know. But imagine like, all of those blown at once. Mm -hmm. Like it's creepy as hell. So, so yeah, just imagine like a million of those blown at once. Well, probably not a million, like a couple hundred at least from all the warriors, but we'll try that up there, see what happens. And yeah, all our stuff locked. Yep. Alrighty. I'm so nervous because last time using that damn death whistle, I got up i got absolutely messed up it shut down something in my body and it just made the whole night so much more sketch so i'm gonna be careful this time so yeah and i'm not allowing you to do it by the way i i don't want to do it <laughs> no no i'm good thank you <laughs> Ooh. I just every single time we come up this like path, I always get like Silent Hill vibes. Yeah? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I get weirded out too. If you're a spirit and you're down on this path, you probably don't remember us. My name is Lamar. I'm Chels. And we're just looking to communicate with someone. We were here maybe what, like eight months ago? Yeah. When it was warm. Warmer at least. Yeah. It was still kind of cold that night, eh? It was, everything's colder by the ocean though. Yeah. But we came back out tonight. So hopefully they come back out tonight too. Yeah, really. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> feel on edge for sure i keep just like thinking that i'm just gonna see like a shadow figure just dart across the road I know. So creepy. wait 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 listen 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 did you hear a voice no, did you? Yeah. Every single time on this exact road going up, I hear someone talk from up there. <sighs> Could be one of the lighthouse keepers. True that. Really wish they'd let us just drive our car up this road. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Would be nice. I'm just trying to like ground myself before we like i know we're already on the property but i'm trying to ground myself before we actually get to the lighthouse and just cleanse everything yeah. 
like I said, we haven't investigated in a while, so I find the first time back is always like a lot more draining. There she Whoa! What? Did you just hear that? Someone just said shh. But before that, I just saw. Hello? Shall I? Do you think someone's here? Just. That came from in there. Like a voice. It came from there. Huh. Okay. Yeah, look how eerie it looks. This is creepy. I forgot how creepy this was. I know. <laughs> For real. I'm sorry, guys. So, turns out I forgot my batteries to. What was that? That just me. I kind of screwed up. So, I forgot my batteries to my actual night vision. So, we have to roll off of our pink phasm cam, which isn't the best at times, especially for adventures. But yeah, we're rolling off of two cams for what we got. We drove all this way and we literally forgot the batteries. <laughs> Something always happens like that. Oh, well, we're gonna make it work with what we have. Why is there another light up there? Where? Up at the lighthouse. Wait, stop for a second. There's another light. Yeah, I see that. It's all the way down there. I don't remember that being there last time. It could have been though. I don't know. I don't think it was there last time, huh? That was definitely not there. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, point the camera? What? Point the camera that way. There's someone standing there. Wait, what? It looks like someone's standing at the edge of the cliff. What are you seeing? I don't see anyone. Like, you see that tall thing standing up? Yeah. It looks like there's someone right beside it. They just moved. I just saw that. Really? Okay, hold on. I need you to hold this just for a sec. I just gotta put my glove on. It's still recording. Let's turn on Spear Talk. I'm alone here. Whoa. Whoa, just as we turned it on. I wonder if that's the woman. Yeah. I'm alone here. Well, her, whoever it was that I just saw. I mean, realistically, there could be someone up there, like an actual human. Yeah. I guess we won't find out until we, we get there. So you saw it standing beside that big, like, like horn thing? Yeah, and it moved. Like, it looked like it just walked. Really? Yeah. I mean, we did see a guy on a bicycle. There yeah. could be someone up there. And there was someone who was walking their dog, but... There's no other cars there right now, so. No. So yeah, the woman with that rope is somewhere here. But I don't know, that's the creepy part. Like, where is she? Like, could she be with us? She can be anywhere she wants to be. But she's not messaging you or anything right now. No, not really, I'm not getting anything. Which happened to me last time we came here too. It was kind of like, like the shyness was blocking out messages. Like they were just too shy to like want to communicate with me. Yeah, that's true. Shop. Whoa, did that, what did that say? Shop. Oh, I don't know why that scared me so much. <laughs> Shop, it yeah. scared you. Ah. Roger. Roger that. <sighs> you know, it's good to be back on outdoor adventures because everybody loves adventures. But the only thing that... Peace. We're not at peace. But the only thing that's sketch about it is anyone could be outside. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anyone. So, I don't know. It's We're all back to the OG vibes, but our nerves are shot again. I think I've been, like, I think I know what you're trying to say now. Like, I, I'm, I'm seeing different sized people in the grass all along there like shadows yeah but I, I like i don't know if they're for sure shadows but they look like people for like a second 
Well, if, they'd actu if they were actual people, like, we'd be hearing them wrestling in the grass. Wait, wait, Chels. Stay there for a sec. What? Last time that building didn't have lights on, did it? I don't remember. That's what, we were that's what we were talking about earlier. The light that you, the lights that you were talking about, are part of that building. I don't hmm. remember the building being on. But yet again, last time our, this place was under construction, right? We're looking for a woman that's reportedly seen here with a rope tied around her waist. Are you able to join us tonight? Potentially talk to us? Prove to the world that you're still here? I feel like, I feel like there's not much energy here, but it's like up there. Attach. Attach. Yeah, they're probably like attached to that part of the grounds. Which would make sense because like, that's where all the lighthouses were, that's where the fire was. Like you're right near the coast, at the water, all the energy. Wrong area. Wrong Did you hear area. that though? Just said wrong area. Did you hear that behind us? What'd you hear? The footsteps. You heard that? I heard it right behind us. Someone there? Hello? Dude. Okay? Yeah, it was like it sounded like it was right behind us. So weird. Alright. <laughs> Can we go up this way? Experiment. Right when you were telling me you heard that? Did you hear what this said? No. Wrong area. What do you mean by the wrong area? Are we not supposed to be here? Are you potentially the lady? Or one of the old family members of this lighthouse? Just let us know. We're looking for a lady with a rope around her waist. That's seen here. We're also looking for potentially the old family members that had lighthouses here. Yeah, the lighthouse keeper. Yeah. Like over time there was like a few of them, several. What? I thought I heard like a screech. Like a... Yeah, so like I saw someone standing right beside that. Sarah. Like actually? Yeah. Can someone tell us who was standing there? Was your name Sarah? Chelsea. What? What? Someone was just walking there. Someone was just walking there. From behind you again? Yeah, someone was just walking right there. It's like they're they're following us to the spot. Yo, that came right behind me. Okay. Okay, that's good though. That's good. That means that they're following us here. No. Look, we're here. Look, we're here. We just got to the lighthouse. Are you able to tell us where you are? We'll go to you if you want. Sometimes I wonder if the spiritual realm... I had one eye. 
one eye. Hmm. Like a pirate? Brother? Maybe. It did say 1700s earlier. I want to know maybe if potentially... Like... In the spiritual realm, could this be us talking, you know? What, what do you mean by that? Like, this could be us in the future talking back. That's this deep. Time is not linear. In the, from the 1800s. Time isn't linear in the spiritual realm, right? So what if we're dead in the future and we're coming back to us now and saying like, look, we're here. You that's, know what I mean? Like it's some, us. Like, that's some like Shutter Island type. I worked here. I know. It just said I worked here. Were you part of the lighthouse? Were you a keeper? So. Wow. Okay, so when did, before that it said I'm from the 1800s. Yeah. So when was the first lighthouse? Do you remember the exact date? Uh, it was like, I don't remember the exact date. I'll have days. to look it up, but that could make sense. I, I think it would have been the late 1800s. I could be wrong. I think so too. But if you're the lighthouse keeper, are you able to tell us where we are right now? That scared me so bad. What did? Like the footsteps. I know, it scared me too the first time. Like literally, it sounded like- We're family. Like, We're family. A family lived at the lighthouse. Yeah. That's right. I think the footsteps we were hearing were the family members. Yeah, coming to their post or like- Yeah. You know what I mean? So last time we were here, remember I, th I thought I saw someone in that second window? Yeah. No, I'm not, but like, even we were re even like, we were re watching the video before we came here, and even in the video, right away when they, I pointed up to the lighthouse, I saw today someone in the second window, like on our video. Really? Yeah. Wow. Who could it be? I don't know. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. Footsteps, we're family. Don't go down there. Don't go down there. We were, we were planning to go down there towards the bunker. Is there someone here that does not want us to go to that bunker? Something though about being near the dark ocean is so terrifying. Like just imagine. She killed us. Whoa. Just imagine. I was just gonna say, just imagine the amount of people who have died in this ocean, who've been lost at sea, gotten in shipwrecks, just drowned. You know, like. And then found their way here. Right. Like, just look at the darkness. Imagine being stuck out there. Yeah. Oh boy. There she be. Okay, I say we go in the bunker and uh, warm up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, man. It's so cold out here. I think that's a great idea. All right, let's get in there. Yo, oh. the door's been like ripped off the, the hedge. Henge? Hedges? Hedges? Hinges. Hinges. There we go. Yo, what the f happened to the door? And look how rusted it is now. What the? Yo, this door got messed up, dude. Remember last time that door closed on us? Yeah. Yeah, this was a door that strip closed on us. Evening. 
What's well, crazy is that what could have done that? I mean, teenagers could have, right? Careful, though. Don't disrespect us. We're not going to. We're not going to disrespect you. We fought here? We fought here. Well, that could date back to like um, early settlers as well. Yeah, because there was never a battle here. Mm -mm, but no. like maybe hundreds and hundreds of years ago. No, but earlier on, I, the spear box did say like we're from the 1700s. It said we're from the 1700s. Earlier on in the spirit box, it said we're from the 1700s, and then it said something about we worked here, and then in the 1800s. So I did a quick Google search just so I could say like correct facts. But Duncan's Cove area was settled in 1752 and then the very first lighthouse here in Duncan's Cove was completed in like the 1870s. Yeah. So it could make sense that when he said it's from the 1800s that it is like the first lighthouse keeper. Did you just hum? Was that you? Like, mm hmm. Yeah. That was okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't see you, so I was like, what? <laughs> so I think it's time right now. Spike a little bit of energy. It did say I need more energy, so hopefully this does not disrespect any spirit or. Army. Army. Well, it shouldn't disrespect the spirit if we're doing it with the correct intentions of helping to give them energy, right? God, that's oh pulling that right out of the bag just sent something up my body <sighs> damn dude there's a reason why I put this behind glass and this is the reason why I felt like this last time so for the folks at home do not try and copy what I'm about to do. Feel free to mute your screens right now. It's not gonna affect you at home, but it can't. Did you hear that? What did you hear? Something just moved like behind you. It's always behind us. Contact. You're trying to make contact. Listen. I heard something behind you, but then I also heard footsteps out there. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. I wish I could block my ears. So before I blow this to any spirits listening right now, I hope this gives you enough energy to communicate with us, because all we want to do I is- I didn't believe this. <laughs> Because all we wanted to do is communicate with you, so feel free to come and try and contact. We can see you all. Whoa, that's getting mm. busy right now. Mm -hmm. Feel free to contact us any way you can after I blow this, okay? Oh my god. Give me a sec before I actually blow this. This is different than our other one. I can feel the tension in the environment coming up. It's, it's increasing and I haven't even blown this yet. It's as soon as I took it out of the bag. Maybe just try to ground yourself a little bit before you blow it. <sighs> the scary thing about it is I remember when we first used this in Hell's Dungeon it actually shut down my body. And I remember you trying to help me up. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty. Which is why we always keep it behind a locked. I wonder if there's a spirit attached to this. I never, I never thought about that, but this was made, handmade from Mexico. So the Mexica people I mean, especially if it's handmade, right? Like that's someone transferring their energy into it. 
You don't know what their intentions were when they were making it. Yeah, it's so good. Good, bad, whatever it was. Who the f What the f What did you hear? Someone heard it. I, I, I felt like someone just came to the door for it, like the, the presence of someone. Like, like it felt like someone was just walking towards me. Who's here with us right now? Gregory. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, Gregory. Gregory, are you a spirit? I assume that was a spirit. All right, here goes nothing. All right. I'm gonna stand up to do this. Yo, I'm so freaking terrified of this right now. All right, I'm about to blow it. For everyone listening right now, mute your screens. I mean no harm. We just want to communicate. We were told we were told that this would bring you more power, so here it is. My heart's pounding. I hate that noise so much. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Whoa, something just shot through my body. Are you serious? Oh! oh, oh. Oh, Are you okay? Yeah. Ah. What? What's happening? My left arm just went numb. <gasps> Maybe put that back in your bag. My left arm is numb. Whoa, this is freaking me out. Free children here. Are you okay? This is freaking me out, Charles. Like, was it instantly? Yeah. Yeah, it went all through my body. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Ah, oh, nothing. There's nothing you can do right now. I, I did that to myself. Oh, my arm's starting to twitch now. Whoa! Whoa, look at that! Look at my arm! What the look heck? Look at my thumb! scratch? Okay, wait. I gotta turn the light down. Joe, there's a fucking scratch on my... What the fuck, babe? Where did that come from? I don't know. I gotta turn the light down. It's hard to see. Okay, let me try to focus it. There we go. Yo, look at that right now. Was that the arm that you were like holding it with? Like the hand? No, 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 no. Whoa! What the fuck just happened? The light! You didn't hit that on accident? No, I didn't, I promise. What the hell is happening here? I get scratched instantly. That's the most instant scratch. That's the most instant scratch. Contact. Contact. Is this still filming? Please tell me it's filming. Yeah, the red light's going. Shall I right there? I'm trying to see if I just saw a shadow. I just saw some of them briefly. All right, yeah. Okay. Charles, I've never seen a scratch come that quick. And like, you didn't hit yourself on the wall or anything like that? No, like I did not. There is, there is nothing. Yeah, put that thing away. I'm starting to freak out here. Yeah, I would be too. Especially you, you got scratched, the light went off. How did that happen? Like, like, like seriously, how did that happen? That happened within seconds. I don't know. Like from the moment I held that and the moment I put my bag down, that's what happened. There's that, like my hand didn't touch anything. I just slid my bag. I slipped my bag off. I don't get a good feeling, babe. That's sketching me out. Who did that to me? Gregory, was that you? If it was, can you give us confirmation? I'm gonna be the closest one to that door, damn. I don't know, I 
I get a really weird feeling. Like a really uneasy, a really uneasy feeling. Wrestling and yeah, it's like movement. Yeah. In heaven. So I think I just need a minute. Yeah. Here. You okay? Yeah, I just I I just really have a bad feeling. I I'm just trying to shake it. I don't want to like put that out there, you know. Man, I'm starting to regret these outdoor adventures. Like, seriously. It's only our first one. I know. I just... Uh, it's different when you're outside. It is. I feel like there's so many more openings outside. It like, is. I hate to be the one to keep saying that there's portals everywhere. But it's true. Like, there, there could be other things here mixed with the legitimate historical facts. Well, I mean, the land is also just so old, right? Like, it dates back so far. Alright, let's, let's... Skeleton. Say skeleton? Yeah. Let's come up with a game plan and just tackle it, see what we can do, and go from there. I, I think we need to be careful, though. Like, I generally think we need to be very mindful and careful of our next steps. Are you getting anything that's related to here? Any of the family members telling you anything? Nothing. Really? Yeah. All I'm getting is just like tread lightly type vibes. What was that? What was that? Hear that? It happened twice. Yeah. Okay. What if we go into the other side of the bunkers and do an EVP? Yeah, we can do that. Just follow me here, okay? Okay. So the spirit, what? It's really dizzy. The spirit that I keep, like I, I sensed is out here somewhere. Are you down on this side? Do not hurt us. You're the thing that scratched me. The person that scratched me. You're not allowed to do that again. I don't think we've explored this side last time. I think it was like flooded or something. Don't remember. Definitely a lot of people come here. Oh. What? It's heavy. It's very heavy. The thing is, it's that it's so fine. Like, the scratch is so thin and sharp. What could that be? You know what I'm trying to say right now? Like, what could that be? It's so thin and yeah. sharp. It's like someone took a knife and just slit upwards. Very like gently, because the knife would have like cut you. But the thing is, it's like I, I was vulnerable. Can you move location? Can you move location? Keep getting the image of like a a rowboat. A rowboat. Yeah, of like two people in a rowboat, like an old school. It's white, it has like blue lettering on the side, like it says a word, and there's two people in it, one in the front, one in the back, and they're rowing. Really. Yeah. Interesting. There was a photo of that too, eh? Was there? Yeah, I think so. 
who's in here with us right now? Or you know what? Who scratched me? It's a, it's honestly freaking me the hell out. Like I, I'm freaked out right now. I've never seen anything so instant in my life. Who did that? Eleanor. Eleanor. Eleanor, were you one of the wives of the lighthouse keepers? Or are you the woman who drowned? in the distance. The spirit talker did say, I'm in the house. Yeah. I remember in that interview of the people who saw the spirit, they saw them in the house. Mm. Yeah, the woman. Yeah. Before it burnt down. We're trying to reach out to the woman. That's what we came here for, not to get scratched. Can you tell me if you're here or not? Do your best to talk into this. Please, we're filming so the world can see right now. And if you want to pass a message, feel free to come through and talk through this. Is the woman here that people see all the time? Hello? What the fuck was that? What did you see? No, I heard something like, like, it's like, like. Maybe an animal? I don't know, I feel like I'm just starting to lose my mind here. I don't know what it is. What? That's weird. What? I feel like maybe that's kind of how light keepers would go. Right? Being a lighthouse keeper, you're so isolated from everything. The, there were no houses down there. You were just here, alone, with your family. That's all you had. A True, lot of right? I was hung. I was hung. A lot of lighthouse keepers who were super isolated started to like go crazy. Who wouldn't? Yeah, that's true. I don't know, I feel weird. Like, I, 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 I think we should, like, <laughs> start making our way back. I mean, yeah. Whoa. Investigator. What the? <gasps> was that you? 
It literally said investigator. As soon as you started to like feel your head pounding. No, 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 no. I, 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 that's not at all what I was. Behind the light was a face that I just saw. What? And then I heard. Did you like go like? Oh. Yeah. Okay. I that. Because <laughs> I'm starting to trip up. Oh, what was that? What? 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 Oh, listen. Listen, listen, listen. I hear a man's voice. Fuck, I, I swear to God, I heard a man's voice. I believe you. Okay, let's keep walking this way. Damn, why is this so sketchy here? Well, you blew that whistle. true yeah what did you expect to happen <laughs> baby hunt hunt i'm surprised that like for me i'm seeing faces and stuff well keep in mind like you did pull that whistle Right? Which automatically gives you, the person who blew it, an absurd amount of energy. Yeah. Like, they're mostly going to go after, not after, but they're mostly going to go towards the person who blew it. Because that's your energy now attached to that whistle. Yeah, no, that, that, that like, dropped me for a sec. Like, that, that froze me in time. It, it makes you very vulnerable. Yeah. Like, that, like, I know this is not... I know this is far fetched, but I just saw something up there. Wait, never mind. It's the blades on that thing. Yeah, I, I I'm thought tripping that too. Out too. <laughs> Shit, man. Oh, all right. Let's just re. I gotta reboot for a sec. I don't know what to think though. Like the fact that I got scratched so early, like a second mm -hmm. or two, and then. Na ground. You okay? Yeah, I don't know. It just feels off. That's the only thing I can really say. Is it just feels off. It's something to do with this land, too. Like I, I keep picturing people with spears. People with spears? Yeah. Oh, like there's a line of people throwing spears. I just, I don't know. I think it could have something to do with the land or maybe fishing, right? Spear fishing. Whoa. Feels like there's earthquakes. I know, it's the big us. waves. Are you looking at us from the lighthouse? Do you think I'm real? I think you're very real. You think we're real? It's snowing. <laughs> I'm, uh, I don't know what to think right now. I know. I can't believe that happened right off the bat like that. Come on, man. Like, how do you explain that? Make sure when we're leaving and we get in our car that you cut that cord. Oh yeah. And I'm cleansing that whistle. I don't trust that thing. I don't trust it one bit. I've never liked you using it and I've made that very clear with you. I'm surprised you let me bring it. I know, me too. <laughs> this girl was not gonna let me bring it. No, I was suggesting like a Ouija board and the next thing I know you show me that in your bag and I was like, Oh shit. Yeah, but I asked you and you're like, I know, I know. You're you still like, but then I was gonna bring it anyways. <laughs> of course you were. I was gonna actually just whip it out and surprise you, but you actually let me. And then, yeah. What a lovely surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't feel my feet. I don't know anything off a of spirit box. Nothing, it's gone quiet. This woman's hard to find. I don't think she wants to be found. It's like she's just. <sighs> Unless. Nana. Hi, Nana. Did you call your Nana Nana? No. Okay, me neither. Um, irrelevant then. Um, maybe she's closer to the water. 
Like maybe she would be easier to find if we went on the rocks closer to the water. Not at nighttime, not a safe idea. Well, why don't we just go right there? Just for now. I meant, I meant like getting down to the water. Well, we'll just go by the cliff right here. Because they said she had a rope tied around her. Kind of like she was being rescued from a shipwreck or something, right? Yeah. If you're the lady, can you please appear in front of us right now? Or do your best to appear. So down here is the water, but mm -hmm. what sketches out like we could trip and fall off a cliff. Yeah, especially you. Hill. Hill. hill? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's a freaking hill. Yep. Hill down to the water. The lady's legitimately down here. We at least have to try and go down there. I don't think it's the safest, but... So this is a hill here. And she just said hill. I somehow believe that, that that's the woman she just told us. I mean, it's more of a cliff than a hill. I mean, it still is a hill, essentially. If you're the woman, are you in front of us right now? Please. Memories here. What? what you... Memories here. Memories here. What if that's the woman coming back? Could have been. What kind of memories did you have here? Were they good? I literally can't see anything in front of me. It's that dark. It's the light black. won't even do it either. You don't even have flashlights or anything. No, we forever got those too. <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> this was a rough, rough night. It's been a while since we've done an outdoor adventure. I don't know. Oh my god, Chelsea's back. What? It's back. What's back? This tingling in my arm. Okay, let's get you away from the cliff. Like, for real, it's like, ah. Okay, go. Let's go. Can you turn the light? I can't see. <sighs> Son of a bitch, this hurts. This actually really hurts. Is it like numbness, tingling? What's going on? Yeah, it's, it's all up my arm right now. Can you take that? It's okay. Oh. <laughs> like. Oh, thank God this is documenting right now because my arm is like, like seriously shocking up down my butt, like my left arm right here. Did you have any other like pains or anything? Like your uh, back, your chest? No, it's like lit. Dude, it's like from here to here, just tingling so bad. Like, there's no reason for it to be tingling like that. Ah. Maybe we should get you out of here, babe. <laughs> that's crazy. And that's on the same arm that's scratched. Like, 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 this is a gone wrong night. Welcome back to Outdoor Adventures, eh? <laughs> that is, at the same time, so unbelievably crazy but so scary is it still numb it's it's getting back into my arm right now but it, it's still tingling it's like it's mostly tingling right now like that i can barely feel i just feel like you know when your legs asleep yeah it feels like that but like all up here and it's like like i'm I, it's like when i turn my arm it's all energy just tingling but it's not here. Maybe someone's like holding onto your arm. This is scary. All right, grab your stuff. This is actually really scary. Do you need me to carry anything? No. Let's get out of here. Okay. Actually. We can swap cameras so it's not as heavy for you. 
Damn, babe. I think, I think this location is just one that is gonna be left always on a cliffhanger. Just, I just don't understand. Keep walking, babe. Freak me the f out right now. You're not getting much. Nothing. It's like it's like I'm blocked. It's like a spirit's blocking me. Something's blocking me. I get like little it bits here and there, but nothing like what I normally can get at other locations. True. <sighs> Honestly, it could be have it could have something to do with that that damn whistle. Yeah, I think that's the main cause of what just happened tonight. I think we gotta get the hell out of here. That's what it is right now. Shit, man. I did not intend for this to be one of those episodes where it's just gone wrong. I was really actually feeling like we would have gotten contact with that woman, but. I don't know what we got in contact with. I know. Yeah, and you don't even know, so that's the scary part. Because, like, what could be here? And then it's weird how it kept asking, the spirit talker asked twice, Do you think I'm real? Like, what? Like, does that mean it's a demon? I, I don't know. I don't think so. Like, something that's never walked the earth that just did that to me. I don't know. I have no clue. All I know is I want to see Ikea. That was one of the craziest things I've ever experienced in my life. Have you ever seen anything like that? You've never seen someone get scratched that fast? Well, I mean, the only other time was me at Greystone. Yeah, but that came like during like later though. This was pretty early on, like right away. I mean, your scratch at Greystone was crazy. Like legitimately crazy. And I'm thing with this one that scared me is that it's like because I blew the whistle, it did that. Yeah. I'm like legitimately confused right now. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to end off that that's straight up a gone wrong right there. So you guys called it, you guys wanted an OG episode, you know, back to the OG formats. Now, it's gonna get a lot better in the fact that we're gonna come more prepared next time, uh, but we did have fun. We did go for it again. This is a different spot where, like if you guys haven't seen our previous episode, I linked it down below, go and check it out. It's full on dock of this spot pretty much, so that's up there go and check that out this is just it's one of those adventures where it just, like i can't even explain it it's just one of those adventures where we weren't expecting any of that to happen mm -hmm. which caused us to just leave a little bit early not only that's cold so yeah love you guys so much make sure to hit that like button let's get the 2.5 thousand likes all in this video comment like subscribe if you haven't done so yeah go and check out our other stuff too go to our channel by the way if you're just coming across this video for the first time go to our channel my name is lamar mens and basically what we do on this channel is full-on investigations explorers all that stuff i'm hearing walking stuff. so yeah if you haven't done that yet go and subscribe check out our channel everything is down below click the links you guys know what to do. How are you? I'm, I'm ready to go. You're ready to go? Yeah. You're pretty I'm, freaked out there? I'm cold. I'm freezing. All right. Let's get in the car. All right, guys. Hit that like button. Love you guys so much. And we'll see you guys in the next step. Voila. Well,